channel. My name is Jeremy. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, an organized, methodical way of developing the ability to improvise with single note lines uh, as well as chords. One of the things I notice a lot with my students and with myself is that we sort of have single note improvisation mode and chord mode, right? Or accompaniment, comping. Uh, and, you know, we, we, play, we play our single note ideas when it's our solo time um, and maybe do a little chord melody stuff that we've worked out. And then we're in comping mode. And these two kind of worlds, it's really difficult to um, s have a vision for combining the two. So I wanted to kind of uh, walk through a method that I've used that has helped me and, uh, and maybe you can take some inspiration from this and work on some ways that um, will develop uh, stylistically the way that you're sort of hearing the music. Um, so first of all, just to define a few terms, when we're talking about single note lines or melodic content, right, we're talking about one note going to another. And then when we're talking about comping or, you know, harmonic content, that's the chords that we're going to be playing that outline the harmonic shape of the tune. Okay, so step one. Make sure you pick a tune that you really like, memorize the melody. Play it in a couple of keys if you want, play it all around the guitar. I found for me that playing this way works best when I'm playing solo guitar, duo with bass or, or horn player or singer or something. Uh, and also trio when I'm the only chordal instrument and I need to accompany myself. Uh, so there's actually a lot of context that this is useful for. Um, and so uh, hopefully, you know, going through this process, we'll be able to add that skill set to your playing. Uh, so uh, step two, you're going to memorize the chords and the form of whatever tune you've chosen, right? So make sure you have your chords down. Uh, I'm not, you know, in all these demonstrations I'm doing, I'm not using any fancy, you know, finger stretching chords or anything. Uh, I'm just trying to keep it very simple with basic chord forms. Um, uh, hopefully, you know, if you know two uh, voicings of every possible chord, you're going to be fine. Part three, um, what you are going to do is you're going to play the melody and then in the space in between the melody, you're going to play the harmonic content or the chords that happen during that time, hopefully eventually with some rhythmic component to it. But maybe you'll start off just playing kind of out of time, right? <laughs> Once you kind of have an idea of what you're going to play, try to put some rhythm to it. And that is going to help you kind of start to hear the harmonic motion in conjunction, right? We want to create this confluence of, of melodic and harmonic content. So, fourth step, you are going to start adding in your own melodic or licks, your own melodic content, your own scale phrases, whatever your kind of playing style is, instead of the melody. So you might start by alternating. <laughs> you 
you do this on a couple of tunes, you start to have a lot of different options that you might, you know, uh, that you might be able to play. <laughs> Right, you can start to just mess around and, and, and figure out how this works on different tunes. 